Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Kamisato Spiral Housekeeper, who is not a native from Inazuma, but Mondstadt, Toma. So let's begin. Toma is a playable pyro character in Genshin Impact, hailing from Mondstadt. Toma is a sociable and responsible housekeeper for the Kamasato clan, and a well-known fixer in Inazuma. Having amassed a powerful network of people, Toma defends the rights and interests of the Yashio Commission with utmost seriousness. Toma is a 4-star pyro male character in Genshin Impact who uses a pole arm as a weapon. His birthday is January 9th, and his constellation is Rubium Scudum. He originally comes from Mondstadt, but lives and works in Inazuma. He has affiliations with the Ashio Commission and Kamisato clan. Tama's special dish is warmth, a variant of the miso soup. Tama became a playable character on November 2nd, 2021. The four voice actors of this housekeeper in the four localizations of Genshin Impact are Christian Bonas in English, Jean Pei in Chinese, Morita Masakazu in Japanese, and Ryu Sangan in Korean. He has two titles which are Protector from Afar and The Kamisato Clan's Housekeeper. Toma uses the tall male model. He has green eyes, fair skin, and messy blonde hair that is short except for a section at the back of his head that goes down to his shoulders. His outfit is called Warrior of Flame. The long part of Thomas' hair is tied in a ponytail by a red cord and with tassels fading to tan at the ends. Toma's outfit is a fusion of western-style attire with parts of samurai armor. He wears a decorative red and black cropped jacket over a black shirt along with a pair of silver dog tags hanging around his neck. The button cuffs of his gold-trimmed coat-like sleeves are patterned with a fordali design. He wears a black metal headband on his head with gold ascended horns, resembling the Maydate front crest of a Kabuto helmet. He wears a power vision on his belt in addition to a Kusazuri tassel along with flaming Kamisato crest on the other hip. The same crest is marked on the polins of his blue slate sundiate shin guards with tabby shoes. He also has small red stunned earrings. The outfit is described as He cropped the pieces of this light suit of armor till only the thigh and arm guards were left, allowing him to comfortably attend to all matters in and out of combat. This outfit can be unlocked once attaining his character. Toma is known by Inazumans to be a helper helping everyone out and ensuring that any issues are quickly and peacefully resolved. The son of an Inazuman father and a Mondstadter mother, Toma shares the traits seen in both nations people. His father placed a great emphasis on loyalty while being raised in Mondstadt meant that he could easily mingle with most people. He believes that people should happily enjoy a leisurely life and does not particularly care about his reputation, even if people speak ill of him. He originally went to Inazuma to bring his father dandelion wine, but after falling overboard, he ended up on Inazuma with no corrections and no more.
Despite the dangers he faced at the time, Toma was able to make the most of his situation and eventually obtain the Kamisato clan's trust. He is an efficient worker resolving all of the Kamisato clan's issues in a timely order. He plays great loyalty on the Kamisato clan. Despite his easygoing appearance, he shows no mercy to those who threaten the Kamisato siblings and the Ashio Commission. He does not use his connections for personal gains. Swift Shatter Spear is Toma's normal attack. The normal attack performs up to four constructive spear strikes, while the charge attack consumes a certain amount of stamina to lunge forward, dealing damage to opponents along the path. In the Plumier attack, plunges from mid-air to strike the ground below, damaging opponents along the path and dealing AoE damage upon impact. Blazing Blessing is Toma's elemental skill. Toma vaults forward with his pole arm and delivers a flame-filled flying kick, and deals AoE pyro damage while also summoning a defense if blazing barrier. At the moment of casting, Toma's elemental skill applies pyro to himself. The damage absorption of the blazing barrier scales off Toma's max HP. The Blazing Barrier has the following traits. It can absorb pyro damage 250% more effectively. And now, when a new Blazing Barrier is obtained, the remaining damage absorption of the existing Blazing Barrier will stack and its absorption will be refreshed. The maximum damage absorption of the Blazing Barrier will not exceed a certain percentage of Toma's max HP. Crimson Uroi is Toma's elemental burst. Toma spins his pole arm, slicing at his foes with warring flames that deal AoE pyro damage and weave themselves into a scourging Oyoi. When, when the scourging Oyoi is in effect, the active character's normal attack will trigger Fairy Collapse, dealing AoE damage and summoning a blazing barrier. Fiery Collapse can be triggered once every one second except for the amount of damage that can absorb. The blazing barriers created in this way are identical to those created by Tomo's elemental skill Blazing Blessing, absorbs pyro damage 250% more effectively. When a new blazing barrier is obtained, the remaining damage absorption of an existing blazing barrier will stack and its distillation will be refreshed. The maximum damage absorption of the blazing barrier will not ex extend a certain percentage of Toma's max HP. If Toma falls, the effects of Scourging Oyoi will be cleared. Imbricated Armor is Toma's first ascension passive skill. When your current active character obtains or refreshes a blazing barrier, this character's shield strength will increase by 5% for 6 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds, max 5 stacks. Flaming Assault is Toma's fourth ascension passive skill. It will deal damage dealt by Crimson Oil Roy Fiery Collapse and increase by 2.2% of Toma's max HP. Snap and Swing is Toma's utility passive skill. When your fish successfully in Inazuma, Tomo's help gains a 20% chance of scourging a double catch. Tomo's official title in the Kamisato clan is that of a housekeeper, and as such, he is responsible for matters such as cleaning and cooking. Whenever he appears at the Yashio Commission, Toma is almost always busy with such work. He is able to get everything done well, and even Furuda, the butler of the Kamisato clan, is full of praise for his housekeeping skills. However, most of the time, Toma does not stay in the Asho Commission, but goes elsewhere to deal with some special matters decently. For example, solving the problems encountered by the Asho Commission, asking for information for the head of the Kamisato clan fulfilling Ayaka's wishes, etc. In those unknown corners, Toma has always used his own way to develop the influence of the Yashio Commission. Toma seems to have been born with a good temper. Regardless of whenever he's dealing with a 
dignitary or a street vendor, Toma can easily find an opening to join the conversation and have a good time with them. Toma, who is good at socializing, has a wide range of contacts in Inazuma. When he first arrived in Inazuma, he relied on the insight and communication skills to make friends with people in various industries. Later, many people would take the initiative to get to know Toma. The more people you know, the more resources you can get. Toma will learn a lot of first-hand information from them or quietly strike deals that are beneficial to the Yashio Commission. However, although Toma has a vast network of connections, he has never used it for personal gain, nor has he ever forced others to do things in the name of the Yashio Commission. Shoshu will be precise judgment in just the right amount of track. Perhaps this is the reason why Toma can drive as a fixer in Inazuma. Surprisingly, the handsome and cheerful Toma has no resistance when it comes to cute animals. When Toma's out, he always carries some snacks for animals and feeds stray cats and dogs when he sees them. It never fails to make him smile seeing animals scarf down food. To Toma, these animals, like himself, are part of what makes up the world. Even if they don't seem to eye-catching, they are still trying to live. As long as you live, good things will always happen. This is what Toma has always believed in. Even if these animals are not encouraged good things, before, he hoped that at least his presence would be a good thing worth celebrating for. As the housekeeper of the Kami Sato clan, Toma is an all-arounder when it comes to housekeeping. Whenever it's cleaning, cooking, sewing, gardening, caregiving, or socializing, he can handle it all with the ease. For Toma, housekeeping is not only a job and duty, but also his hobby. He would clean the house like new, making sure that there was not a single grain of dust left on the railings. He would be very in very happy mood when he's faced with a cleaning and tidy Yashio commission. Perhaps it's the sense of accomplishment that comes with cleaning whenever he has the chance. Tomo will pick up a broom or duster and sweep away in unusually stains. In addition, he also takes special care of the daily lives of the colleagues around him. There was a winter when Inazuma's temperature suddenly drifted and a guard of the Yashio Commission accidentally caught a cold while out on patrol. A few days later, he unexpectedly received a sweater hand-knitted by Toma. The sweater that was just the right size made the guard link back to the clothes he received from his mother very every winter. Now that his mother was old, she hadn't sent him clothes for many years. With this in mind, the guard took a long leave of absence to visit his family. The day he came back, he brought Toma a special souvenir from his hometown and they became good friends. Toma's father is an Inazuman, and his mother is a Mondstadter. Toma grew up in Mondstadt and has been accustomed to its carefree and happy atmosphere since he was young. Influenced by this, he can easily mingle with anyone. However, he has also been taught by his father since he was a child and places great importance on the word loyalty. After Toma's father returned to Inazuma, he was worried that his old man would not be able to drink Mondstadt's wine there. So he sailed to Inazuma alone in a boat carrying Dandelion wine. On the way, a huge wave overturned the boat and Toma fell into the water. Fortunately, he just drifted unconsciously down the water until he got washed up ashore on a beach in Inazuma. At that time, Toma had nothing and no family with him, but still started his life in Inazuma with optimism. However, despite his best efforts, he was unable to find his father, who was supposed to be in Inazuma. But at his most difficult moment, Toma met someone in Inazuma who was worthy to his loyalty to the end. 
Due to his hailings from Mondstadt, Toma is often regarded as an outsider by the local residents of Inazuma. Despite the strange looks and gossip directed towards him, Toma never showed any dissatisfaction and always smiled at all doubts. Toma is recognized as the most admirable person in the Yashio Commission, but to outsiders, it is another story. Don't offend Toma, otherwise things will be difficult to handle. No one is sure when it started, but this saying has gone around so much that many people are convinced of this when they hear it. As for those who have an unpleasant one in with Toma, the mention of him still installs fear. Don't be fooled by that guy, he's always smiling kindly, but all I did was chat to the Yashu cheat the Yashio Commission of a small sum of money, and he... That's right, if anyone dares to harm the interests of the Yashio Commission or disrespect the Kamisato siblings, Toma will make them pay. He sees this as his duty and does his best but does not like to boast about his achievements. Even if he is criticized for this, he will not defend himself too much. Gee, who cares about such travesties, and it doesn't matter what kind of person I am, as long as those who should know it, know it. Toma's favorite duster has been with him in many conquests. But it has been used for too long, no matter how Toma cleans and takes care of it now, it still looks old and gray. Despite this, Toma is still reluctant to discard it. This duster was given to Toma when he was first assigned cleaning duties at the Yashio Commission. As soon as he sees it, he recalls those hard but happy times. At that time, Toma had yet to comprehend various cleaning techniques. Due to his lack of experience, he was often busy doing all kinds of cleaning and tidying work until late at night. Accomplishing him with the moonlight above his head, the chirping of the insects in the summer night, and the sound of a duster tapping on the beams. There was many different kinds of cleaning, from a simple cleaning to an all-out deep cleaning. Toma has experienced it all. At first, he found the work boring, but after he got used to it, he found that he could think more quietly when cleaning. So to this day, Toma often uses this duster to perform his work. While brushing away the dust in front of him, he's also brushed away the fog in the he his head in a quite sturdy state of mind. In his early years living in Mondstadt, Toma did not have particularly strong aspirations. Each day, he was awakened by the early morning sun in the fresh fragrance of flowers. After breakfast, he could choose to take a relaxing stroll through the city or explore the wilderness freely. At that time, Toma thought that people should have the happiness of living a luxury life. Perhaps it would have been better to live a peaceful life. This calm moon disappeared the moment when he was swept into a strange country by the waves across the ocean in a small boat. Here, he had to receive a favor to survive and thus the dot of repayment arose. Ten years ago, when the Yashio Commission's Kamisato clan was losing its power, Kamisato Ayato, was, who was embroiled in the despite over the succession rights of the clan due to the death of both parents, told Toma, Now that this situation in Izuma is unclear, the trouble to the Kamisato clan's faces will only increase. You are someone who can see what's it at stake, so if you don't want to get involved, leave early. Could Toma, who had received so many favors from the Kamisato clan just like that, leave? Choosing to leave would mean that he would have to return to his ordinary, stable life with regrets and guilt. The storm was imminent, and Toma was like a leaf drifting in the sea. But after much deliberation, Toma's answer was, If I leave at this time, I will lose my loyalty in righteousness. Father has always taught me to be loyal and righteous, a loyal and righteous man. I would like to 
do my best to do my part for the young master and the young lady. You will certainly need me as a helper in the path you embark on in the future. The will to burn for loyalty and righteousness forged a strong desire that drew the attention of the gods. As if to respond to Thomas' choice on this night of delivering desires, destinies, a vision bright red like a blaze appeared beside him. Toma is a variation of the ancient Greek name Thomas, which in turn is derived from the Aramaic name meaning twin. It also resembles the Japanese name Toma, which alludes to Toma's Inazuma ancestry. This may also be based on the practice of foreigners adapting Japanese legal names upon nationalization which was especially true for foreign-born samurai who adopted new names in Japan that resembled those of the native living there. His constellation, Rubium Scutum, is Latin for Red Shield. Fact 1. Toma wields the ascended version of the Kitten Cross Spear in his official art. Fact 2, Toma is the first new male 4-star character since the release of the game. And that's Toma, I hope you enjoyed it and next time we will talk about the mysterious fox priestess. Yay Miko, so see you next time.